Ozzy Adventures Time to hit the road G'day, Russell Cord here Just wanted to take this opportunity to say hello And uh, answer a few questions Sent in by uh, some of my many fans From around Australia and around the world uh, I've got them here And uh, let's see if we can't uh, work our way through them uh, first one comes from Hunter from uh, from Albury. Hunter writes, uh, you always talk about city slickers and people from the big smoke. I was wondering what town were you, Russell Coit, born in? Good question. I was born in a little town in central uh, Queensland called Yudimo. Uh And in actual fact, they named the library after me. Uh, well, the, the library's not there anymore. It actually burnt down. It burnt down the day that it was opened by me. I was doing a... Uh, fire stick juggling up up the back section in the history section of the library and I threw a stick over my shoulder and the whole place burnt down but there is a plaque with a Russell Court written on it and uh, you can find it uh, it's a bit singed but you can get a photograph uh, next to that so that's always a, a good thing to do if you're passing through you me and say hello to all the folks there who love me well some of them don't love me after that incident but most of them do uh, and if they do, uh, you might get a bit of a, a discount at the petrol station. And if they don't, well, probably best left. Anyway, what else have you got here, uh, Hunter? Uh, do you still sell your artificial crocodile G strings? Yes, I do. You can get them online. The great thing about the Russell Coit G string is not only is it an excellent item for wearing in the outback, as I do, as you've seen me on my TV show, uh, it doubles up as a spare fan belt. If you ever break your fan belt in the middle of nowhere, it's a survival situation, take your G-string off, wrap it around, bang, you've got, yourself a, you've got yourself a fan belt. Not only that, if you run out of food, it converts into a slingshot. So you can catch yourself some food with my G-string. And the great thing is right now, this is the brand new version, it actually converts into a face mask during the COVID. I've been wearing mine in the outback the whole time uh, and if you get there's a selected few that have been signed they've been signed around the back and just up up the back passage of it there uh, there is a little signature for me that says coit so uh, get yourself one of those it is a collector's item just between you and me don't be getting rid of that one what else have we got here hunter uh, when i get out of hospital would you like to come pig hunting with me? Look, I've got to be honest with you. I haven't been pig uh, hunting for some time. There was a, an incident a couple of years ago with my sister Meredith. We, uh, we went out uh, pig, pig shooting. And uh, my sister have this, has this weird habit. When she laughs, she snorts. And uh, I mistook her for, for a big female. And uh, I shot her in the left buttock and the right buttock. And you know, I didn't realize it was my sister until I had her hog tied and I was about to throw her in the back of the truck and she snorted and I went, whoa, that's Meredith. So um, I haven't been allowed to go uh, pig shooting since then and my sister won't allow me. But if there's anything else you'd like to do, I'd love to do it with you. Hunter, thanks for your questions. They were fantastic. Okay, this one comes from Ryan Smith from Stall. When does your next TV series come out well i'm working on one right now with dr chris it's a fantastic show where uh, dr chris tries to bring back to life any animal that i've backed over uh, it's a fantastic series it's going to be called bondi roadkill and uh, there's a couple of things going through with the rspca at the moment but if we get clearance you're going to see that show on television very very soon there's a couple of hoons going past you get, as you can hear in the background there hopefully they don't run over any road kill are you going to make another uh, another movie says ryan uh well it's funny you should say that i am i've uh, just finished a script uh for a russell coit uh sort of a it's sort of a harry potter in the outback type of type of movie it's called uh the philosopher's coit and uh, going to be very exciting. I, I play, play a little sort of version of Harry Potter, which is, of course, Russell Court. And I uh, haven't heard anything back. I've, I've sent the scripts off. I've been having a few problems with my email, so I dare tell they, they'll get back to me fairly soon. And if they do, and the movie comes out, Ryan, I'll be inviting you along to the, uh, 
to the premiere. So that's very exciting. Can I be in your next show, says Ryan. Uh, look, unfortunately, my working with children certificate has lapsed. There was an incident uh, at uh, the Crocodile Park where some some kiddies came in and uh, look, <laughs> one of the kids had their, had their hand bitten. I mean, you come into a crocodile park, you're gonna see crocodiles, things are gonna happen. Uh, I don't know why they're taking, taking uh, me to court over that. Uh, the boy's name was Nyao, and which is ironic because that was a noise he made when the crocodile bit him, Nyao. <laughs> uh, if you're watching Nyao, hope you're doing okay because I know that you uh, had a bit of a problem with this finger. I know when you come to play the violin, you don't use that finger very much. So let's be honest, you only need the nine up this end for that and up the other end for doing a bit of that. You're not really using a little finger, except for maybe picking your nose. <laughs> that's a bit rude, isn't it? Don't pick your nose, that's a, that's a nasty habit. So there you go, Ryan. Uh, there's, uh, there's your questions. Hopefully, hopefully they were informative for you. Um, next one comes from Karen, I think, from South Africa. What's the best way to catch a crocodile? Well, look, catching a crocodile is very, very dangerous. You only want to leave that to someone like me. So if we're in the, ever you come out into the outback with me, I'm happy to do that w w for you or with you. Um, probably the best way for you to do it is to go to one of my crocodile parks. And unfortunately, as I said before, has been closed down because of that incident. Uh, which is a real shame because seeing a crocodile at my crocodile park was a real hands-on experience. Uh, of course, yeah, a couple of times it has been a hands-off experience. Uh, Yow! <laughs> uh, but uh, when the park opens back up, Karen, I'll be very happy to, to take you and uh, maybe you can uh, spend a bit of quality time with, uh, with the crocodile. Um, are you the best Australian adventurer we have ever seen? Good question. Very good question. Uh, well, I don't want to blow my own didgeridoo. I was actually named Adventurer of the Year back in 2012-2013. Uh, I never did receive the award because uh, I was going to the awards and um, I got lost. Uh, so I never got there. I never received it. Don't know why they haven't sent it. But uh, that's a bit disappointing. But uh, hopefully uh, I will be 2000 and 20s Adventure of the Year. If you want to vote for me, by all means get online, do it now, because I would appreciate the support going through a bit of a, a hard time personally, but no, let's not get into that. Um, next question from you. Do you prefer a meat pie or a sausage roll, being the all Aussie adventurer? I'm a pie man myself, and I make my own pies, and my simple recipe is this. Bit of roadkill, bit of pastry, put them together, bang, there's your pie. You might want to try that, Karen. Try that little recipe. And uh, next time you run over a bit of roadkill, not that you would do it intentionally, but if you do do it, um, by all means, try that. Uh, other questions. What's your favorite animal? Well, my favorite animal is a very rare, very rare species of a pygmy possum. It was actually named after me, uh, Russell Court. Scientists didn't even know that it existed until I backed over one. And they've named it Coitus extinctus. There's one in the Albury Museum and it's stuffed. Well, it was stuffed as soon as I backed over it, but it is stuffed, uh, probably in the in the position that I, I I hit it in, which was kind of like that. It should be like that, but it's more of that sort of position. But uh, Coitus extinctus is probably my favorite animal. If you ever see, well, you won't see one because they don't, they don't exist anymore. Uh, and our last question, I'm not sure it comes from a boy called David. Don't know who you are, but you don't put your surname. Uh, where can I learn to be an outback adventurer just like you? Well, David, I would suggest you grab, your cop uh, grab a copy of my uh, Coit Camping Condominium. It gives you all the basic tips of surviving in the outback. Don't go to the outback without it. And the great thing about my book is that uh, the final 20 pages are printed on toilet paper. So if you're in the middle of the outback, you get caught short, use the back end of the book on your back end. <laughs> that's a uh, toilet joke for you. Shouldn't finish on that, but that's the way I am going to finish. So, uh, yeah, the final section of the book is made from toilet paper, so uh, which is very, very handy if, if, if you ever get caught short. Okay, I hope that's been helpful for you. I wish you all very, very best in the future. Uh, 
My name is Ross Coit and uh, I salute you Australia. I love you and uh, and uh, we'll see you next time around. Okay, see you later. Do I get paid for this? Oh shit. <laughs>